long time ago when I was back in school, we had this crazy physics teacher that one day took this four foot fluorescent tube and seemed to make it light up without any wires. I remember being absolutely amazed by this and it turned out he was using a Tesla coil. Just something I've never really forgotten. So when I saw this very cheap kit pop up on eBay, I thought, well, we've got to get one of those in and try and build it. And that's what I'm gonna do in this video today. So this is the kit that arrived from China. You can also get these on Banggood and uh, Amazon. And you know, overall, for what you get for your money, it's pretty amazing, isn't it? And you get the instructions and a schematic. Now, everything is in sort of Chinese, unfortunately, but it does give you a couple of decent pictures to go by and a component list. And uh, don't, don't worry too much about the schematic because when we look at the board itself, everything is neatly printed on the board. Now, I'm sure most of you watching this video have made sort of these kits before. You just need a reasonably fine soldering iron. Uh, there's one or two tight connections, we'll say, on the board, but it's sort of nothing that you won't be able to handle. And the only thing I had to look up was that it comes with four resistors, two 2Ks and two 10Ks, and they're not marked particularly clearly, so I just had to get have a look at the resistor chart there on Google so I could identify them and get those in the right place. Now when I do these kits, I always start with the smallest components first, the resistors, the uh, capacitors, things like that, and build my way up, way up to the uh, sort of larger components on the board. And I find that way, I end up with sort of more room to work. So while I'm breathing away in the background, it's worth mentioning a real hero of mine, which was Nikola Tesla, who invented the resonant transformer coil, to give it its proper name, in 1891. As well as a fantastic inventor, Tesla was a really brilliant showman and he had these wonderful pictures produced in his laboratory with these huge great Tesla coils and these great arcs of electricity and you wonder how the hell was he not hit and burnt or electrocuted but later on we find out that these pictures were in fact double exposures and faked but they certainly helped to sell his ideas. And oh boy, what great ideas he had because uh, Tesla believed in the transmission of energy without wires and he wanted to set up these ginormous networks of great Tesla coils on top of buildings and give people wireless lighting. I mean, can you imagine that? Light bulbs in your house that would be uh, excited by the electrical energy and would light up without any wires. Can you just imagine what this would have looked like in 1891? Because when Tesla made his coil, he, uh, there was no transistors to use, so he had to use something called a spark gap to alternate the current. So you'd have had all of this crackling and sparking of electrical energy. It would have been something just out of a Frankenstein movie. So it's perhaps not surprising that all of this electrical energy and sparks flying through the air was deemed to be too dangerous for a system for wireless lighting. But uh, some of Tesla's resonant transformer coils were used as spark gap radio transmitters for the wireless telegraph system and they were in use right up until the end of the 1920s. Now, modern coils have done away with that rather impressive spark gap and they're solid state and they use MOSFET transistors to switch or pulse the DC current. And even this little model here with its 350 coil inductor can still produce quite a high voltage at a low current and people with uh, pacemakers for example you need to be a little bit careful when you play with this equipment now as i said before the uh, pack comes with two times 10k resistors two times 2k resistors a one microfarad 50 volt capacitor uh, remember when you solder capacitors the longer leg is the positive you also get two leds as well once again the longer leg on those is the positive terminal and then all you've got is the uh, MOSFET and an MPM transistor, and that's about it. You just solder it on the board and you're all done. For a power supply, you're gonna need something with 15 to 24 volts at at least two amps. Now, I found that my laptop power supply was perfect for this. So, as I said, you do have to be a little bit careful. You are dealing with quite uh, high voltages, even in this small kit. And you can see this like trail of plasma here coming off of the top of the coil. Now, the most 
course, impressive thing and the real eye candy with these little Tesla coils is the fact that they will light up a neon or fluorescent tube without actually touching the wires. And the kit does come with this tiny little neon bulb. And as you approach the field of the coil, <laughs> it lights up and it's actually quite impressive. I was quite surprised. And it just makes you realize that when uh, Nikola Tesla did this in 1891, Nikola had a much larger bulb and a much larger coil, how it would have impressed people. They must have thought it was something out from outer space. Now, going back to my school days, well, my physics teacher had a huge coil and a, a four foot fluorescent tube, and I didn't expect anything like that, but I do have a small domestic fluorescent light fitting, so I thought I would give that a go. And I was really, really impressed, look it, bright lights up pretty bright i wasn't expecting this um, it illuminated the lamp quite brightly now if this wasn't enough for your three pounds 68 or probably under six dollars the coil has one more trick up its sleeve because it has a 3.5 millimeter audio input jack and it is said that if you connect an audio source it will play music through the main coil so i wanted to try this but i didn't exactly want to connect my iphone or my ipad to such a cheap device but i did dig out an old obsolete mp3 player and i thought i would connect that so i'd like to finish this video thank you for watching please subscribe for more and i'll let the coil play us out so cheers catch you on the next one